Spider-Man will be swinging into movie theaters again next weekend. Spider-Man Homecoming will be the sixth time the web slinger has gotten his own Hollywood feature. But if you are starting to experience blockbuster fatigue, don't fret. There are plenty of acclaimed independent movies coming to a theater near you. That includes the romantic comedy The Big Sick, featuring Silicon Valley's Kumail Nanjiani and Ray Romano. So, uh, 9-11. No, I mean, I've always wanted to have a conversation with, about it, with people. You've never talked to people about 9-11? <laughs> Here with a preview of more standout indie cinema is Fandango Managing Editor Eric Davis. Eric, good morning. We're still giggling from that clip of The Big Sick. How awesome is it? It's really, really good. You know, Kumail Nanjiani stars. He wrote it with Emily V. Gordon. It's based on their real-life relationship. Zoe Kazan plays Emily in the film. And, you know, it's really about the complexities of an interracial relationship, specifically parental pressures, and also what happens when someone you're dating gets really sick, the big kind of sick. Do you weather that? Should you weather that? Just really great performances stand out from Ray Romano and Holly Hunter, who play her parents in the film. And, you know, really great to see a Pakistani-American and Muslim yeah. in the lead role of a romantic comedy. We never see it. We bemoan the state of romantic comedy. Yeah. Every once in a while we get a great one. This is a great one. Very hard to make, but it's great when they when they come, that's great. All right, another another film getting a lot of buzz, The Beguiled, which is a remake of a 1971 Clint Eastwood vehicle, but this is made by Sofia Coppola. And it's taken from a female perspective. Yes, yeah, really, really cool film. You know, Sofia Coppola won the Best Directing Prize for this movie at the Cannes Film Festival. Only the second woman to ever win that prize, which boggles my mind. It's a Civil War drama about a group of women and children who are holed up in this schoolhouse in the South, and they stumble upon this Union soldier who's wounded, who's played by Colin Farrell. They nurse him back to health, and that's when the fun begins. It's a little <laughs> sexy and sinister. It's definitely beguiling. Uh, great standout performances from Kirsten Dunst and Nicole Kidman in this film, who gives these great icy cold stare downs. <laughs> Nicole Kidman, what she does with her eyes, this woman, one of the best ever, in my opinion. You said sexy and sinister, and yes. when I hear those descriptors, I think John Hamm, <laughs> who is in Baby Driver, a highly anticipated movie this summer, along with Kevin Spacey, Jamie Foxx, and Ansel Elgort. Tell us about it. Yes, if you're looking for a lesser known movie that's got some oomph, this is one of the best reviewed movies of the year, like 97% fresh on Rotten Tomatoes. And it's about a getaway driver named Baby, played by Ansel Elgort, who when he was a kid, he was in a car accident and he's got this ringing in his ear. And so he drowns out that ringing by playing music. And so literally every scene in this film is driven by its music. Director Edgar Wright, he cuts the, the scenes to the songs. And so it feels like an action musical in that way, but there are no big song and dance numbers. Great cast, great soundtrack. John Hamm, you mentioned Jamie Foxx, also in it, Kevin Spacey. One of my favorite films of the year, not just the summer, of the year. Highly recommended out this weekend. This is what you need to see. I think you like this Yeah, film. Right. A little bit. Just a little bit. A little bit. Veteran actor Sam Elliott getting a lot of attention for a film called The Hero. Tell yeah. us about that. Yeah, it's a really good film. You know, Sam Elliott yeah. plays a aging veteran actor who had a film many, many years ago that was very successful, and now he's sort of struggling with trying to find a role when everybody wants to just give him a lifetime achievement award. Oh. You know, and I take one of those. He's, a, he's an incredible actor. He is. Yeah, he's trying to reunite with his strange daughter. Very soulful film. Great role for Sam Elliott, proving that more roles for guys like Sam Elliott should be there. And I mean the mustache. Yeah, more roles for dudes with mustaches like that. Like that. There aren't many that have. Uh, what about Ghost Story? This is Casey Affleck's film. What do we know about it? Yeah, Casey Affleck just won Best Actor for Manchester by the Sea. Spends many of much of the film in this sheet with two <laughs> eyes poked out, which sounds weird, but it makes sense when you watch the film. He plays a ghost who com comes back to haunt the woman that he left behind. And you know what? This is probably the artsiest film on the list. Long takes, long scenes. There's a scene in this film where Rooney Mara sits and eats a chocolate pie and we watch her for five minutes eat that chocolate pie. And I think that's going to be the scene where you know whether that this film is for you. It's moody and meditative. If you like movies like that, you will probably love a ghost story. Next up, Brigsby Bear. This is a film about an adult man kidnapped as a baby? Which sounds creepy, uh, but it actually is this offbeat, eccentric comedy. You know, he's kidnapped as a baby. All he has 
has to go in this remote house in the middle of nowhere is this show, this entertainment show called Brigsby Bear, created by his kidnappers. Once he's a man, he's out in the real world. He sets out to finish the show and complete it and shoot the finale. It really is a love letter to sort of artistry and creating something that you're passionate about. And it really is sweet. Uh, Kyle yeah. Mooney from Saturday Night Live does a good job. A lot of popcorn to eat. Eric Davis, yeah. always good to see you. Thanks for your time.